Coliseum on the campus of Southern Mississippi in Hattiesburg. Today, the VCU Rams and the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Hello, everybody. Jim Brinson along with the Kentucky sharpshooter, Kyle Macy. And in today's game, Virginia Commonwealth, well, have they played their way into the big dance, or do they have to have this one? Well, they're right on the edge, but I tell you, if they've done something that you just wouldn't expect from a club that's lost their star player. You think they may win a game or two, but then start to slip, but that's not been the case. They've really picked it up, won five games in a row, and as I said, they're on the edge. They've got a good shot. If they win today, win a game or two in the Metro Conference Tournament, they could get in the big show. All right, now for Southern Miss, this is a club that has also all of a sudden caught fire. They'd like nothing better than to play the spoilers role. Well, that's, that's very true, and that's the role they played last year in the Metro Conference Tournament. They've won the last three conference games. We want to make that run here today. All right, we think we're going to have a dandy for you. It should be a wild up and down contest. We'll have the starting lineups and the opening tap for you in just a moment. you got to have them. Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and let us check out today's starting lineups for the visiting Rams. Starting at Virginia Commonwealth, you see it's Kenny Harris, Terrence Gibson, Eugene Kasurin, Tyrone McCoy, and Sharon Mills. And what a job Mills did just a couple of nights ago when Virginia Commonwealth upset Tulane in New Orleans. Now for Southern Miss, Terry Cameron, Bernard Haslett at the guards, Glenn Wisby is the center, Newton Miller getting the start today, along with Herman Myers are the forwards. Now let's check out the keys to the game. Well, I think for VCU, it's very important that they control the tempo of the ball game. Uh, Southern Miss wants to get up and down the floor, so VCU is going to try to slow that down. Southern Miss takes a lot of three-point shots. They've really got to get out and defend that, and they've got to continue what they've been doing. That's just staying together and playing together. Now for uh, Southern Miss, on the other hand, they are uh, got to push the pace. They want to get the score up into the 90s, if, if not more, and also keep a good mixture, though, uh, inside and outside, not just rely strictly on the outside shot, and also no unforced errors. There are going to be some turnovers, but no unforced. All right, Sonny Smith right here, the head coach for the Rams. And, of course, it is M.K. Turk who is the head man for Southern Miss. We'll be right back after these messages from your local station. This is the Raycom Network. Be with you here at Green Green Coliseum in Hattiesburg. We'll tip this one off in just a few moments. A little bit of a delay because of the introductions of the seniors playing their last game for Southern Miss. Of course, they are Terry Cameron and Newton Miller. You know, we talked briefly about Sherrod Mills and what a job he did against Tulane a couple of nights ago at Fogelman Arena in New Orleans. 19 rebounds. Mills has just sort of taken over as the glass man. He really has. He's uh, playing with a lot more enthusiasm. In fact, he's averaging almost six points more per game since Kendrick Warren's going out of the lineup. And I think that's just because of his personality. He feels a little bit more at ease that Kendrick's not around and, and just trying to blend in. He knows it's his team now, and he's got to take over. All right, Virginia Commonwealth, you see leading the series 5-1. to one. And in their last meeting in Richmond, it was VCU an 85-74 victory. Rams have won five in a row, four of which have been on the road. They'd like nothing more than to tack on one more here to really help them uh, secure a spot in the big dance. All right, we are underway. Gibson controls and quickly is going to put it up. Rebound controlled by Myers. Southern Miss starts the opposite direction. This is Cameron in front court. Well, don't look for Southern Miss to hold it too long to get that three-pointer up. Right away, Newton Miller for three. Well, Miller generally does not start. They generally have been going with a three-guard setup. Sam Shelton-Jones today on the bench as Miller gets the start and drills the three. So Newton, you've waited four years, your first start. <laughs> Here's Mills, who we just talked about with a short running one-hander. Eugene Kasurin follows. And the foul is called, and they may have got Kasurin for the push. Yeah, Kasurin with a little uh, forearm to the lower back. They're drawing the foul that time. But you'll definitely see a difference, a contrast in the styles here. VCU would like to slow it down, work the ball, and get a good shot. On the other hand, Southern Miss wants to get up and down the floor, look for that three whenever it's there. Here's Miller again this time, dropping it off to Bernard Haslett. His shot is down as he drains a three-pointer. Haslett has been on fire lately. He's made 38 out of his last 79, now 39 out of 80. He had six threes against South Florida Thursday night. When you get in that zone, you want the ball, especially from long range. It feels really good. Terrence Gibson off the front of the iron. Myers has another rebound. Now Cameron's going to stop and pop it. In and out. 
Rebound comes down to Mills, and it's VCU on the run. He's got McCoy, but Mills takes it all away for the power Ooh. slam. You talking about senior leadership. 6'10", handling the ball in the break, taking it all the way. Boy, impressive. On the block, Wisby. Ball knocked away. It's loose in the lane, picked up by Kenny Harris. And they get a double dribble against Harris. He was trying to get some running room there, but he kept running into his own teammate, McCoy. Tyrone was trying to get out of his way, but uh, Harris just couldn't get away from him. Had to put the extra hand on there. Sonny Smith, maybe his best coaching job to date. Losing his star player in Kendrick Warren out for the rest of the season. This team really feels good about themselves, especially after having won the last five games. So they're playing very well together as a unit. Not, not really distracting from the play of Kendrick Warren that he's too selfish, but more so just that everyone has kind of picked up their intensity and all five are blending together. Fires goes left hand off glass, could get it to go, but he collects the rebound and puts it up on the follow. Six point advantage now for the Golden Eagles. Nice baseline move by Harris, kicks him off to Kasurin. He can hit that shot, but this one won't go for it. Beaton has the rebound. One concern VCU had coming into the game was how would they react after a victory at Tulane? And so far, they're a little sluggish to start here. On the low block, it's Myers. Risby. Drop pass at the center of the lane. Ball is loose. Picked up, however, by Myers. He puts it up and in. Right now, Southern Miss just out hustling VCU, getting all the loose balls. Herman Myers with four points. And it's 10 2. Good look down low. Tough shot. Wisby was right there as he helped from the weak side. So good helping defense by Southern Miss sets up their offensive attack. Miller thought about pulling the trigger. Ball is lost, however, and it's two on two. Gibson, dishes center of the blade, fumbled around a little bit, but it's Harris who collects it and lays it up and in. Well, that was one of the unforced turnovers we talked about. There's going to be some turnovers when you're in a fast-paced game, but you just can't have mishaps like that that lead the baskets on the other end. Just exactly the thing that the Rams were hoping to have happen to them. They've been pulled from the outside. Sometimes just getting a hoop like that will get everybody else uh, going in the right direction. Well, here's a guy who's got the direction correct so far today. Uh, Herman Meyer, a great little spin move in the middle for the short jumper. Six points. Kenny Harris, penetrating Ooh. move. Basket counts and one. Talk about blazing speed. Just a little fake to left and hard through the lane. And Kenny Harris has that ability. Whenever they need a basket, he can just take it on his own. Here you see, just going hard, splitting the defenders, maintaining control, laying it off the glass. Good Bernard, drive. Yeah, Bernard Haslett on the reach that time. Well, you see, Kenny doesn't look real healthy there. He's been fighting the flu bug, and now it's just turned into a small cold. Breaking the action. 15-59 to go in the first half of play. The Rams have clawed their way back into this contest. With Southern, Southern Miss doing a good job shooting the basketball so far this first half. 71% on 5 of 7 shooting. Uh, VCU struggling a little bit, 3 of 8 for 38%. All right, immediately the Rams go to full court pressure. Harris tries to draw contact. He accomplishes that, but he gets called for the blocking foul. Well, VCU knows that Southern Miss is really playing with uh, two two guards in the lineup, so they'll throw some pressure at Southern Miss every once in a while just to keep them guessing and uh, just to check on their ball handling. Kenny Harris first personal, second team foul on VCU. Haslett nails it. Don't give him a second, and it's gone up. And that was well behind the line. Six points now for Bernard Haslett. Cameron way up with heavy pressure against Harris here. Harris blows right by, kicks it off. Mills, good hesitation move. And drops it down. You're right, he has really stepped up. Well, Mills got the credit for that point, but really Harris did the job by uh, doing the penetration, pulling the defense, and opening up the lane for Mills. On the block, Herman Myers. 
Short off the front of the iron. Harris with the rebound quickly. VCU on the run. Set up beautifully to Mills, who softly lays it in. Here's a 6'10 guy out on the break out on the wing. Running the floor exceptionally hard. He was the close to the rebound and was the first one down the floor. Six points now for Sharon Mills. You know, his personality when Kendrick Warren was in the lineup was more just to blend in and not really try to be a standout. But hey, he realized when Kendrick went down that somebody's got to step forward, so he's going to be the one. In the center of the lane, Wisby had it stripped away, but right into the hands of Cameron, who kicks it back outside to Haslett from NBA range. That one won't go. On line, just a little long. Long, too. It was 10 feet behind the line. 2.45, second clock to work with. Cameron steps up, triggers. Mills has another rebound. I'm sure MK Turk is uh, not real happy with that shot. As Harris hits a three on the other end. But yep. Sonny said, Smith liked that one. Yeah, MK said he didn't want to rely strictly on the three, though. He'd like to get a good balance, go inside, and then if it's not there, kick it back outside. Well, VCU has played their way right back into this now. It's 15-14. <laughs> Beeler lets it fly from the outside. No good. And Wisby runs it down and can't, however, keep his feet underneath him. It'll be a traveling violation. And on the turnover, the Rams take over. Well, Sonny Smith is going to counter by bringing Chris Brower into the lineup, his three-point threat, and see what Chris can do. Yeah, we've seen Brower light it up uh, a couple of times. He's another shooter when he gets in that zone. Watch out. Yeah, and he's another guy who's similar to uh, Bernard Haslett. He just comes down looking to spot up right behind the line. Right. Instead, they go with a skip pass. That one won't go, but look at Mills. And the follow shot in and out. Wisby short off the front of the iron. The fingertips of Wisby and out of bounds. Fifteen to fourteen in favor of Southern Miss. VCU at one time trail ten to two. Harris spin move center of the lane has to kick it back outside. Brower just got a hand on it, controlled it, finally knocked out of bounds by Haskell. Brower almost had just a step in bounds first. He was almost out of bounds. Boy will trigger the inbound. Yes, sir, and great back door. Great back door. Great door. And it's around Mills' hands. Beeler lets it fly from the corner. Short off the front of the iron. And here comes Mills again. And this time he gives it up to McCoy. Back to Mills, and he's foul. I can't say enough about Sharon Mills running the floor, both ends. He knows they've made a mistake on the offense, so he hustled the defense and then went back on the offense. Newton Miller right now struggling. Here you see the, the tail end of the out of bounds play. Really executed well, except they didn't finish. Yeah, but, that's Wisby with that rejection. You go the other way. Mills hustled back to get the rebound and took back off the other way. So we've had all kind of action here. Here you see New, uh, Miller's a little bit tired, I think, in his legs. He's not used to playing this many minutes this early in the game. Now you got to get that second win. Right now, it looks like he's struggling to get his legs back under him. Ron Mills has tied the game. And now has forgiven Virginia Commonwealth their first lead of the contest. Once again, the 1 2 1 1 full court pressure. And then quickly they relax it. out by Southern Miss. This is the guy they'd probably like to have triggered if they can free him. Notice the ball hadn't gone inside. Now finally, there's the first pass down low. And that's what MK Turk wants. Try to get the ball down low. Then if it's not there, kick it out, maybe take the three. Foul is on Kasurin. Take a look. A good little wraparound pass that time by Cameron. Wisby just held him off long enough to draw the foul. Now you talked about maybe Mueller getting a little tired. He will leave now. And Sam Shelton-Jones checks in. Rodney 
Ashby has checked in for VCU. The bomb by Haslett, and he is fouled on the three-point attempt by Brown. Haslett drew the foul that time, but that's really one area of his game that he's really improved, and that's why he's scoring more points this year. Uh, in the past, he would just spot up behind the three-point line, wait for the ball to come to him, but now he's realized, if I move, go, come off some picks, use those picks a little bit better, I can get some more shots, and that's what he did that time to draw the foul. Brower's first personal on the fourth team foul against the Rams, and that'll send Bernard Haslett to the line. Haslett, the leading scorer, and better than little 19 per game. And at the free throw line, he is a 69% free throw shooter. He's in too close. That's his problem. <laughs> I mean, he should be uh, launching those uh, free throws from the top circle. He got them all that time. Nine points now for Haslam. So they're missed now sh showing some of their own pressure. Also a 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Well, this is the guy you want the ball in the hands of Harris oh, right there. there. But Kassurik missed the shot. Tipped up and then followed by Mills. Sharon Mills again runs the floor, fouls the play. In double figures with 10 now. Sharon Mills. Awfully quiet in this arena. Not a very large crowd. Ball knocked away. Washington, good hands on the defense. Got the deflection and the steal. Mills, good headed shoulder fake, and he's there this time for the two-handed slam. Yeah, I don't know if NBA scouts have been watching him much early in the season, but they sure better take note now and in the Metro Conference Tournament next week because he's definitely turned it on. Well, he has 12 points now. It has been the Sharon Mills uh, show thus far as Cameron nails the three from the outside to reclaim the lead for Southern Miss. Now, BCU made a mistake of backing off the shooter. You never want to leave the ball, especially when they'll put it up like Southern Miss will. Washington going baseline, in trouble there. Back outside, the pass comes to Mills. Harris. Good center of the lane move, rejected by the whistle. And it's gonna be a goal 10 on Wisby. So the basket will count. Uh, no question about this. Uh, Harris with a good penetration, kicks it out to Washington. He comes in with a hard drive of the left hand and uh, Wisby just underneath the basket. He can't block it underneath the basket. Right now, it is a one-point advantage for Virginia Commonwealth over Southern Miss. For VCU over Southern Miss here in the first half of action from Hattiesburg. Well, Glenn Wisby just gets caught too low under the basket and uh, goes up for the block, but you can't block him that low. Washington with a good left-handed drive. Right now, Virginia Commonwealth, as you can tell, has dominated inside play. And also, that's what M.K. Turk was a little worried about. They may just rely too much on the three-point shot. Only two points in the paint. Got to get a few more down low. Well, this is the guy who can get it for you right here. Glenn Wisby. He spins. Mills got a piece of it on the turnaround. Good pressure now defensively by Virginia Commonwealth. Cameron inside move. Kick it off. Myers will put it up. It's going to be off the side of the iron. Ball battled for it. Finally controlled by Brower. Brower doing a good job coming back to help rebound. Again, it's Mills, center of the lane. Oh, boy, what a great hump thing that was. Kazurin got it. He couldn't get it to go. Mills tries to go after it. Finally, it's pushed out of bounds. And it'll be a foul on Sharon Mills, who has uh, been all over the glass early in this game. Sharon working very hard down low. Look at that fake. The, the players, everyone's head snapped the other way, but couldn't get the shot to go. Ashby missed. Mills stayed with it. And just kind of a frustration, wanting the ball uh, was called for the foul. Haslett has it out high. There's the inside out play we talked about. You get a wide open three if you can do that. Good control underneath that time by Ashby. Here's the pass to Washington. Pulls up, off balance shot, ill advised. Must have been looking for a foul call. He thought there was some contact, so he just threw it up. They look for Wisby on the block. Mills has him defensively. Wisby goes up, can't get the jump hook to go. Ashby with another rebound for VCU. 
VCU doing a good job only allowing one shot on the offensive end for Southern Miss. Gibson controlling outside, and they threw it away. And it's a different offensive set when they don't have Harris, Kenny Harris controlling that ball. It really is, but he's got to get some rest because I said he's been fighting the flu and now a cold and uh, you can really tell a difference though when he's out of the ball game, but he's got to come out and get a little breather. Fred Williams into the lineup now for Southern Miss. Sam Shelton Jones, not a bad little forearm check on Mills. He tried to break down the lane that last time, too. Kassurin is back into the lineup now for VCU. Haslett fires it up. It won't go. Rebound battled for. Tipped once, tipped twice. Still not in control. And finally, Terry Cameron saves it. But it is going to go to the Rams. Rodney Ashby with good hustle on the board. Kept it alive, and uh, Southern Miss knocked it out. VCU one of three for 33% from three-point range, while Southern Miss is four of eight for 50%. Ashby, he will not look to shoot it out there. Kassurin will, however, and he's off the mark. Ashby tipped it once, couldn't control it. Cameron has it for the Golden Eagles. And Ashby's on the floor after the loose ball. Well, for VCU now, look for McCoy and uh, Brower to get involved in the offense. They're really the two scorers out there on the offensive end. Gibson finds Brower. Ashby posts up down low on the block. Kasurin, however, pops out high. Down low, shot will not go, however. Ashby going after the rebound goes over the back of Williams. Southern Miss, good job blocking out that time on the boards. All Ashby could do was come over the top. Brower, the feed down low. Kasurin uh, misses the layup, probably should have made. Ashby, good hustle, but a foul. We'll be back right after these messages from your local station. This is the Raycom Network. Rams lead it by a point, 22-21 over the Golden Eagles. Hey, Metro fans, why not take the Gillette three-point challenge? Flip the coupon in your March 14th Sunday paper. Go to our participating retailer to see if you've won a shot at $1 million. No purchase necessary, Boyd. We're prohibited. It's the Gillette three-point challenge. Well, the Southern Miss Golden Eagles having some problems putting the ball in the basketball here of late, only shooting 35% on 7 of 20 in this first half. Cameron finds Haslett over in the corner. Kenny Harris back in the lineup now for the Rams. This is the guy they'd like to free up if they can. That's Haslett. Still plenty of time on the shot clock now beginning to become a factor. Williams back outside, Cameron. Inside of 10 seconds as we count down to eight. The shot and the hoop by Glenn Wisby. Wisby's first basket. And Southern Miss reclaims the lead. Ashby finds Kenny Harris for the three ball. This one is not gonna fall. The ball is saved and controlled by Virginia Commonwealth. And right now, it seems that VCU continues to beat Southern Miss on the rebounding end. VCU running just some splits off the high post. First on the right side, that's on the left, but the shot hadn't gone down. McCoy fired it. He couldn't draw it, however. Wisby had the rebound, and Southern Miss will set up their offense. Again, the perimeter passing sets up Terry Cameron from the outside, and he drains the three-pointer. Cameron now has six points. Well, Cameron and, and uh, Haslett are the two real threats from the three-point line. Southern Miss now showing some zone, a little 2-3, but they'll match up when the first pass is made. Harris could break it down with the outside shot. Swing to Kassurin. Good skip pass. Baseline move. Nice basket. Wouldn't go, however. Tipped once, tipped twice. Here's Kassurin going up. Off 
balance shot, and he's fouled. And once again, they're getting two and three and sometimes four opportunities on their own offensive end. Might want to check that basket, though. Seems like there's a lid on it. Just won't go down. McCoy with a good baseline drive goes all the way to the other side. It just misses. They've had a good hustle there by VCU. Till Kasurin can draw the foul. Over the head backwards shot. Reminiscent of some that you tossed up in your college and NBA days. I tried not to go in the paint. I, I know. Out I know. Yeah, you were one of those chicken guy guys. Kasurin <laughs> <laughs> couldn't get it to drop. I have yet to see anybody, however, go down and grab their socks as you always do at the free throw line. I always felt that that was going to be a uh, a real in thing, but. Uh, <laughs> As like the hula hoop, it comes yeah. and goes. <laughs> <laughs> and yours went. 26-23. <laughs> Here's the full court pressure. Williams breaks it off the dribble as he split two defenders. And getting back to knock that one out of bounds is McCoy. <laughs> MK Turk would like nothing more than to play the spoilers role here today. Terry Cameron, this one's too hard off the back of the iron, but the deep rebound, it's run down by Williams. And the bad pass. Well, that's one thing, when a team shoots a lot of threes, the guards really have to come back in and help because you'll get a long rebound. And the, whoa, wouldn't even keep that one down. You're right about it, having a difficulty here at that basket for VCU, and on the run the other way is Southern Miss. And off the loose ball, picked up by McCoy. Taking it right to the hoop. VCU is creating, Kyle, and they're, and they're getting opportunities, but they just can't seem to finish. Well, McCoy probably should have made a pass to Harris that time. Harris did a good job of picking the offensive player, Cameron, but uh, McCoy just tried to do a little bit too much. Southern Miss has turned it over seven times, and the Rams have turned it over three times. Lacey, short off the front of the iron, goes after his own rebound. It's Haslett. And that was part and unusual to see him shooting a two-point range, though. 11 points now for Bernard Haston. Leading score for Southern Miss. And their win, I should say their big win over South Florida Thursday, he had six threes. He won that one by 30. Mills in and out. And ball knocked away by Gibson. And a little uh, hurtling act on the far side. And Brower will check back in. Gibson gets a rest. Well, Gibson a little bit upset and that he didn't make the steal. He thought he had it, and then also a little upset that he had to come out after the dead ball. Lacey. Fred Williams. Notice Ashby really didn't come out on him in that particular area. Cameron slicing center of the lane. Who's on the deck? Your yeah, guy Ashby again. Two on one. Kenny Harris give it up right to the basket. They still can't get it to go. No, they finally got the soft bounce. Well, the players interchange positions that time, and Harris did give the ball up and led to a basket by McCoy. Good passing. Three point advantage for Southern Miss. Cameron short off the front of the iron. Ashby's been a monster on the glass here. Mills is down at the other end. Center of the lane, give it off to Harris, and I think they're going to wave that basket off yeah, before the shot. Yeah, but they didn't count the basket, but I tell you, a good passing is contagious, and that time we reversed back. McCoy with the good pass to Harris. Boy, Sonny Smith, what a job he has done here after losing Kendrick Warren. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just not right that a team goes on a winning tear when you lose your star player. You think they may win a game, but, you know, when... It reality sets in, but it hadn't so far. 3-11 to go in the first half. 28-25, Southern Miss leads VCU. Be with you here at Hattiesburg, 28-25. Golden Eagles out in front of the Rams. And you might think, well, why is this score maybe uh, a little low? Here's why. Well, 32 and 38 percent. Uh, teams are just having trouble putting the ball in the basket. The Rams shooting around that 47 percent mark from the floor as a team. 43% for Southern Miss, so both clubs way under what they generally shoot from the floor. And that'll help 
things out right there. Yeah, you've got to get some easy baskets in the transition game, as Southern Miss did that time. If you can get some easy layups, it also opens up the outside. John Lacy's first basket of the afternoon. Skip past Brower. This is where he likes to shoot it from. That one will not find the mark. I sat around a little bit in here yesterday after one of the practices, and I noticed myself the background it seemed a little bit better out higher on the floor, out towards the top, and not so much in the corners. I had some trouble putting the ball in in the corner position. Browers missed his last two from there. Down low on the block, Williams collects it. And the traveling violation. Well, they quickly really uh, surrounded him with three guys. Yeah, Fred Williams got the ball low, and the three VCU players were immediately back there, hands reaching in, trying to get the deflection. Myers checks in, Williams will sit. Southern Miss in a very small lineup now, right now with uh, Lacey being the tallest player at 6'7". Southern Miss has turned it over 10 times. The Rams only three. Ashby, and he got hacked as he tried to split the defenders. Ashby giving some good minutes to Sonny Smith. Uh, maybe not scoring a lot of points, but doing some of the other things, rebounding, hustling. Now he's got a few floor burns already. He has kept the ball alive, particularly on the glass on the offensive end on several occasions. Yeah, that was ugly. About broke the backboard on that one. Oh, you better, you better have a conversation with him. He needs to slow it down a little bit in the motion. Got it and shot it real fast. Uh, that time, a little bit better pop. Still short. Ashby only a 33% free throw shooter. I can help him. Yep. <laughs> Haslett. Won't go. Tip once by Lacey. Lacey again collects it. Tries to follow. Had it stripped out of his hands and out of bounds. Van screamed for a foul. MK wanted a foul, but he's not going to get the call. Lacey working very hard on the offensive board, and Mills has got to be careful on reaching in like that for the deflection. He may pick up a second or third foul. Gary Cameron back into the lineup. Haslett gets his first rest on the inbounds. Gary Martin control it. Now Cameron down low on the block. Lacey goes up. Good defense by Mills. about it drops it low on the block instead to Mills. Kenny Harris will reset it. McCoy penetrating drive tough shot it's going to be short off the iron good defense Lacey did not bite on the head fake. Skip pass cross lane and the basket. Two twenty-five, Southern Miss. And this is the guy who's been uh, able to uh, at least continue to get the ball into the basket, and that's Mills. Well, uh, Southern Miss playing a little bit of percentages there. Say, okay, Mills, you want to go shoot a 16, 17-footer? We'll, we'll give you that because it's taking you away from the basket. Southern Miss now will play for one. They're just going to sit on it for a little while out on top. We're inside of 20 seconds. You'll probably see them go with the offense at around the nine or eight seconds mark. Here they go. Cameron won't go. Tip wants that time by Myers. Rejected by Mills. The final shot is no good. 32-27 here in the first half. It's Southern Miss out in front. In this particular game, extremely important for VCU to stay close and then, of course, try to win it in the final minute and a half as we come down to the final seconds of the contest. Metro Conference basketball is being brought to you by...
Coliseum in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and we'll be back after these messages from your local station. This is the Raycom Network. Buddy, Reed Green Coliseum on the campus of Southern Mississippi in Hattiesburg. Right now, it's the Golden Eagles 32 and the Virginia Commonwealth University Rams 27. We have a special halftime interview, and here's Kyle Mason. Thank you, Jim. I'm here with the athletic director here at the University of Southern Mississippi, Bill McClellan. And first of all, Bill, congratulations. Your women's team won the Metro Conference regular season. Yes, they did, and they've done doing a good job all year, and they kind of usually in the battle. We're looking forward to being at the Metro in Louisville and the girls, you know, play at the same place the boys. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. This Thursday afternoon, we begin the Metro Conference men's basketball tournament as well, and it's an exciting time not only for the teams but for the fans. It is, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to this our second year back in Louisville, and uh, we got a lot of things going on. We have entertainment for the cheerleaders, the band, the dancing girls. Uh, you know, Delta Airlines makes special arrangements for us for our fans getting there, and, you know, just can't beat a lot of things. Bill Olson and the people at Louisville are doing a tremendous job to put on a uh, a great event. Well, last year your Eagles kind of played the royal the role of a spoiler, and it looks like they could be in that same uh, role again this year. Well, it looks like the chemistry is coming together uh, Thursday night and today. So far, uh, maybe he's got the right uh, chemistry in the ball game, and uh, they played good all year and had a few bad, about five bad minutes during the ball game. We played our way out of it, but uh, hopefully we'll be in it and uh, we can get some attention when we get to Louisville. All right, good luck, Bill. We'll look forward to seeing you in Freedom Hall. Let's go back to Jim. You've got all kind of information up to, for us about the Metro Conference Tournament. All right, Kyle, thank you very much. The tournament, of course, at Freedom Hall and March 12th through the 14th for tickets. It's 1-800-633-7105. 1-800-633-7105. And, of course, there is special airfare capabilities for the Metro Conference Tournament. And you can contact uh, for air travel, 1-800-241-6108. 1-800-241-6108. As an intercollegiate athletics leader, its institutions are voicing their commitment to academic and athletic competitiveness. Last year, 446 student-athletes earned 3.0 grade point averages, and this year, Metro Conference Scholar Athlete Programs will recognize monthly the outstanding achievements of its young men and women. Balance is the key in the Metro Conference. University, the largest urban institution in Virginia. VCU's academic campus, located in the heart of Richmond's historic fan district, boasts six schools and a college, including the largest school of the arts in the country. And just two miles away is the Medical College of Virginia campus, a major medical center that places VCU among the leading research institutions in the United States. Virginia Commonwealth University, Virginia's urban home for excellence in education. And on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. With an enrollment of nearly 14,000 on all campuses, USM students are working toward degrees in approximately 100 fields of study through the university's six colleges. USM's outstanding faculty and its regionally and nationally acclaimed programs in science, humanities, arts, business, and education define USM as the university for the new South. Welcome back, everybody, to Southern Mississippi in Hattiesburg. And, of course, right now it's the Golden Eagles with a 32-27 advantage uh, in this game. Quickly, your quick thoughts about uh, what we saw in the first half. Well, I, I think uh, both teams really struggled to put the ball in the basket, but uh, it's a close game, which I think probably is the VCU's advantage because they seem to be a second-half team here down the stretch. All right, let's check out now scores from around the country on the Budweiser scoreboard. And up next here at Raycom, it'll be South Florida at two lane and of course the green wave coming off that upset loss at the hands of these same VCU Rams then it's also Virginia Tech at UNC Charlotte that game will be played in Davidson North Carolina followed by tomorrow's game I'll be there uh, for Notre Dame and Louisville fighting Irish struggling and the Cardinals of course playing very good basketball as of late it's halftime we'll be right back after these messages from your local station this is the Raycom Network. Miss with a 32-27 advantage at halftime over the VCU Rams. Rams. Kyle Macy with you here in Hattiesburg. And uh, let's check out some of the first half action that we have for you. And it was uh, exciting at times. Well, Sharon Mills uh, kind of got VCU jump-started. They'd struggled, hadn't made the first three or four shots of the game, but he decided to take the length of the court and open up the scoring with the jam. Also, VCU did an excellent job with the passing on the break. Uh, Harris to McCoy to Mills for another layup. 
And then uh, the offensive boards are really strong for VCU this first half, just playing volleyball until finally Mills can get it and slam it back home for two. Southern Miss, the key's been there, three-point shooting. This time it's Cameron from long range to getting it to go down. And also Sam Shelton Jones with a nice drive on the baseline using the basket to keep the defenders away for the reverse two. All right, and that brought us to our halftime at 32 to 27. Now it's time for Schick Super Hoops, the largest, most exciting three-on-three -three tournament in the country. Metro Conference Basketball is brought to you by The Gillette halftime stats. Well, both teams really struggling, as you can tell, 31 and 36 percent from the floor, and uh, free throws for VCU at 57. They got to improve on that. Uh, one thing Southern Miss does not like looking at the stats is the number of turnovers. They've got 10 already, but the, the other thing, a positive in their advantage, is the rebounding. They've uh, out rebounded VCU 30 to 18, so they got to keep that advantage going. All right, now let's check out now the Ford Keys to the second half. As Sonny Smith looks on, he's probably wondering what you're going to tell everybody, Kyle. <laughs> well, uh, we talked about earlier that VCU would really like to slow the game down at only 32-27 halftime. I think that's to his advantage. They're probably not going to get into the 80s, so he'd like to keep the game in the 70s. Uh, defend the threes, obviously Southern Miss shoots a lot of three-point shots. And do what they've been doing, just everybody playing hard, playing well. They've had a pretty good first half, but they can just shoot a little better. For Southern Miss now, they want to try to get that pace up and down a little bit more, try to get the score at a little bit higher range, but they got to get a better mixture of inside play and outside play, not just rely on the threes, and just got to get those turnovers down to 10 in the first half too many. All right, now you and I chronicled what this game meant to VCU. A victory here really puts them in a very good position to make the big dance. Does a loss knock them out of the big dance? Well, I think if they lose here today, then it will depend on what they do in the conference tournament next week. If they win here today and win one game, maybe two in the conference tournament, then they're a shoe in, I, I feel. But if, if there's a loss here, and then it just depends, you know, how they do in the tournament. Here are the leading scorers here in the first half of play. It's Mills and Kenny Harris. And then, of course, for Southern Miss, you would expect Haslett to be on top, and he is with his 11 and then Cameron and Myers. Well, for Southern Miss, Wisby's got to get jump started. He's only got two points here at halftime, and he's a big cog in that machine. Yeah, he is their uh, second leading scorer, meaning the Golden Eagles, and uh, you're absolutely right. They need to have uh, something uh, out of the whiz. He averages better than 16 points a contest. The whiz, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, set to go now. Newton Miller, Terry Cameron, Herman Myers, Bernard Haslett, Glenn Wisby on the floor now for Southern Miss. VCU counters with Kenny Harris, Terrence Gibson, Eugene Kasurin, Sharon Mills. Knocked away. And quickly, just like that, the turnover. And on the break, the other way. And VCU is jump started early. Boy, Kenny Harris is really playing good basketball for VCU these days. That time with the head up pass so down the court leading to a dunk. Gets on the line, saved from going out of bounds. How about that play by Gibson? Here's McCoy, and he's fouled by Haslett. Not only did Gibson get the block, but managed to keep it in bounds and kick it to Harris to start the break. Did I say Southern Miss wanted to pick up the tempo? Boy, that's what you said. <laughs> Two quick breaks by VCU. 32-29, an opportunity to close the gap again. And the first one hits the back of the iron. This one is good, and you're going to see VCU go to full court pressure. So they have decided that they are going to challenge right from the get-go here in the second half. These two teams played in the tournament up in Syracuse very early in the year, and uh, 
Southern Miss had all kind of problems against the press, so BCU is going to try to cause some turnovers. Herman Myers scored at the other end. He's got eight points. And when you do a deep break the pressure, you want to attack and go right for the basket as quickly as possible. That's what they did. Down low, stolen away. Wisdom. Al Mueller. Skip pass to Haston. Surin has Wisby defensively on the block. Now he comes out high. Mueller thought about it, but didn't trigger. Haslett never has to think about it. He just lets it fly at any time. And the ball was tipped out of Haslett's hands, and here is McCoy going right to the basket. And a little quick little finger flip, and he scores. Boy, really getting out and running the break. Uh, Harris was right there to follow if he missed as well. Seven points for Tyrone McCoy. Tyrone maybe should have passed that just to keep his point guard happy so he'd get the pass the next time down the floor. Knocked away from behind. Gibson's been quiet on the offensive end, but here in the second half, he's really come out and made two good defensive plays. McCoy, they swing back outside to Harris, and now the Rams will settle the offense. Kasuri, down low, Mills, right to the basket and scores. They brought the big guy out, brought the other big guy down low, and they just hit him with a little pass as he rolled through. Right, it was a set play by VCU. The guard cut through and picked for Mills, and it got him a wide open layup. And MK Turk has seen it up already. He wants to talk about it, and Herman Myers was hearing about it. 17.46 to go in this contest. We're all tied up. And at 34, and here is one of the reasons right here coming up. Well, Jim, sometimes the uh, simpler the better. Here in offensive play, they just uh, interchange a little bit. We didn't get to see the pick, but one of the guards just came over. I think it was Harris. Set a pick on Mills, went right down the lane for an easy layup. And right after that, MK Turk, the head coach of the Golden Eagles, called time. He didn't like the way things were going. Newton Miller fires from the outside. It won't go. Rebound knocked away, but still controlled by the Rams. Center of the lane. Mills, short one-hander. In and out. Wisby skies to collect it. That's the first shot that VCU has missed here in the second half. Terry Cameron off the back of the iron. Myers got it blocked once. And have it jumps backed up. We're going to have a jump ball. Yeah. Got to call a jump. Either that or traveling. Yeah, and the possession arrow in the favor of VCU. Well, that was a good call. I think uh, two VCU players actually had their hands on the ball. Well, he didn't think it was a good call. <laughs> MK Turk still giving an earful to the officials. Well, I think he was a little bit upset in that the referee under the basket was not the one that made the call, but the one outside. McCoy drops it down to Mills. Boy, they worked the give and go with a little screen and roll. Play. Little pick and roll, the oldest play in basketball, but it still works. 18 points for Ron Mills. Came into this game averaging 14 a contest. Haslett for three. Can't get it to fall, and Wisby is held. As Kasurin had kind of like a, one of those uh, world wrestling uh, body blocks on him. Yeah, well, he got caught <laughs> right in front of the official uh, holding Wisby's arm. That's his third. Inbounds, Cameron will set up the offense. Miller on the outside. Now Haslett, you know he's looking to fire it, and that's why. Did a lot better job that time getting set up off the pick. BCU on the break the other way. Bad shot that time by Gibson. Should have dished it. He had Mills open on the wing. But again, looking to trigger it. That one, however, ripped in and out. Harris lead to McCoy. And it's knocked away by Cameron. McCoy tried to be a little too fancy with the lob pass that time. Cameron, good defensive play. Newton Miller fires and scores. Four point swing. Should have had a dunk on one end. Instead, you're going to give up a basket on the other. Miller with five. Ooh. Harris right down the center of the lane. Dish it off, and Mills is hammered by Wisdom. <laughs> Mills going to do a little hang time, but kind of got caught on the backboard. Probably should have just gone on and uh, tried to muscle it in that time. Harris here with great penetration down the middle. Little drop pass to Sharon as he goes to the basket. Almost hit his head on the backboard. Boy, both those players are really up in the air. 
Kind of remind me when you and I used to play there, Jim. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> On that eight-foot basket. <laughs> Mills at the line. He's got 18. Make it 19. Mills also one of the better free throw shooters for VCU, 73%. Yeah, it's great when you're a big inside player. Can indeed score at the free throw line. He got one of the two. Ball is loose, battled for. Finally, Haslip controls it. Going the opposite direction, stolen away. And it's Gibson with the steal. Off to Harris. Kenny Harris right to the basket, had it stripped out of his hands. And Larry Ware whistles the foul. Well, Kenny Harris just puts constant pressure on the defense, just keeps coming at you. You back up, he's going to get a good shot. If you don't, he's going to go by you. Southern Miss really needs to run back all five players in the transition game to help out the man that's on the individual defensive assignment of Harris. Gibson sets it up. Now it's Kenny Harris, baseline, moves inside, has to kick it outside. McCoy fires for three, short off the front of the arc. Boy, Harris does indeed do an excellent job in penetrating the basketball and drawing defenders to him and then getting it to the open man. VCU has to capitalize by hitting those open shots. Haslett. Now Cameron. Back behind the three-point line. It won't go, but there's the whiz. Down low, working hard. Goes up. Couldn't get it to go down. And the whistle and the foul. Now, Wisby has been pretty quiet so far today until just in the last few minutes where he's really been getting uh, some action. Right. I think he realizes that he's not going to get many shots out on the floor in the offense, so he's just started working exceptionally hard on the board, trying to get as many putbacks as he can to get his points. Sonny Smith knowing how important this game is to his club in terms of March Madness, as Wisby cannot get it to go down. You just got to have a smooth motion when you're shooting the free throw. That time he kind of jerked the hand back. Let's see if he follows through to the basket. No, it's still kind of twisting it, but got it to go. And it's full court pressure applied by Southern Miss, and they come up with a loose ball. And right through the hands of Miller. Playing his last game here as a senior. Talked about those unforced turnovers. No real defensive pressure that time, just threw it away. Trap at midcourt, finally, Rams get it into front court. That's the guy that they want to control. VCU now taking their time. You see the double high set up with the big guys. Now you'll see them rotate. And they free Harris for the shot. It's going to be way off the mark. Kassurin went for it, couldn't come up with it. And the shot pulled up a brick that time by McCoy. And here comes Cameron. That's stolen away. That was the intimidation factor of Wisby on the other end, though. Made the offense adjust the shot. 3 0 -oh. one And the foul is going to be on Wisby. Boy, the Rams really come at you. And Sonny Smith wants a goaltending. You be the judge. McCoy with good hustle to get back and save the ball inbounds. See, as soon as it was touched by another player, he's legal again. Right. It was good play, and Harris with a little dish to Mills, and I thought he was going to dunk it, but Wisby had other thoughts on that. Now, this is the play that got everybody fired up, the fans anyway, here in the arena. No, this is the foul coming up right here by Wisby on Mills. No question of the foul. Uh, Sonny Smith's question was, did he pin it off the glass? If he took it to the glass, it's legal, but if he pinned it off of the glass, it should have been two. Mills missed the free throw. 19 points to the game for Mills. Missed them both. Well, at tournament time, you got to start making your free throws. I think you should make them all the time. Well, you should, but it's especially when the tournament's coming around. Wisby. Boy, that's an unbelievable shot off the window. How do you defend something like that? His great quickness, great springs in the legs, and a little bank off the glass. Four points for Wiz. Washington, who has checked into the lineup. Chris Brower. Pesurin finds Kenny Harris. Good perimeter ball movement. Boy, that's a pretty good move that time by Eugene Kasurin. 
Real good move, little crossover step. I'll teach you that in Russian, Eugene. <laughs> Is Gary Martin in the opposite direction with his first basket of the afternoon. Forty-four thirty-nine. Extremely important game for VCU. Chris Brower lets the three ball go. It won't fly in. And Wisby beats Mills to the rebound. Brower just not been able to get on track from three-point range here today. If he ever gets that first one down, watch out. He's a straight shooter. Newton Naylor working the baseline, and he got it. Newton. Seven points now for Newton Naylor. Wisby, by the way, has collected nine rebounds, so he's become much more active here in the second. The crowd's not booing uh, Newton. It's, they're just shouting his name, Newt. Newt. Yep. Harris walking in, top circle. Down low, Kasurik's got it. And the reach in follower is in a push on Miller. You're going down low in the, in the trenches of war here. Miller laying all over him. Kasurin traveling after the foul. And just a lot of beef down there. Ashby checks into the lineup now for VCU. Kasurin gets a rest. Inbounds play right through the hands of Ashby, who just checked in. Well, I think that pass was for Brower in the corner for three. Ashby thought it was for him. Martin finds Newton Mailer. Lob down low, it's Wisby. Double team still goes up with one hand around and out. Myers beats everybody for the rebound. Mills blocked it and tipped it out to Brower, who's on the run with Mills. Here's the lead and the finish. Mills has just turned it up three notches if possible. I tell you, those NBA scouts better be watching this kid. 21 points, Sharon Mills. Not many 6'10 players can run the floor like that and do all the things that he can do. Wisby fires it from the outside. Seven points, Glenn Wisbeck. 48-41, counting down to the 11-minute mark in this contest. Better get over that mid-court line. He does. Brower, kick it back outside. Gibson with the three ball, and he nailed it. That's his first basket of the afternoon. He's been very quiet offensively. He's done some good things defensively here in the second half, but that's the first goal. Always be on the baseline. Decides to let it fly. And he's drained another one. Talk about a player getting focused during halftime. It's a whole new ball player here, Glenn Wisby, the second half. Only Nine. two points at halftime. Now has nine. Ashby, swing to the corner. Kareem Washington thought about it, didn't trigger it. Brower to Gibson. Mills, Brower. Pretty good ball movement. They've really swung it around well, and that one was knocked away. Down low on the block. Mills, got it. You know, VCU has done such an outstanding job since uh, Kendrick Warren's been out, but. Sometimes when you've got a star player like that, the other players will stand around and not really get involved, but now they know they've all got to get involved, and all five players on the floor have done that. Miller had it knocked out of his hands, another reach-in foul. Washington gets tagged with that personal. Sharon Mills has got to come out. He's really breathing hard. And there's a break in the action with 9.44 to go in the game. It's 50-46, Southern Miss out in front of VCU. 50-46, Southern Miss out in front of VCU. It's a four-point advantage for the Golden Eagles. And coming up next on most of these Raycon stations, South Florida will play against the Green Wave at Tulane in New Orleans. Pat McConnell, Terry Gannon will be there to call all the action. That's coming next on most of these Raycon stations.
you see the turnover 16 to 6 uh, Southern Miss with the advantage they'd rather not have. Yeah that's where you don't want to be in the lead. But they are doing a good job on the boards with the 40 to 22 advantage. Lacey has checked in the lineup during the timeouts. Has to down low scores and draws the foul. And it appears that more and more the Southern Miss team as young as they are beginning to find some fluidity in their offense. The chemistry is pretty solid now and they really could be a factor at the upcoming tournament next week. They really could. They're definitely going to be in the spoiler role. Uh, that time Hassler just coming, Hassler coming across the baseline and kind of caught Brower by surprise and he'd gone in under the basket instead of shooting long range. 53-46, VCU trails. Brower lets the three ball go. That's the one you said he needed. It'll be interesting to see now if that kind of gets him untracked. His first basket today. Finally found a corner he liked here in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Southern Miss in the flex offense, just running cuts up and down the free throw lane across the baseline. Newton Miller off balance, ill-advised shot, controlled by VCU. Gibson lob across, you know who he's looking for, the three ball guy. That one won't go, however. Knocked out of bounds, Rams will keep it. I think he rushed that last one. Pretty good recognition by Terrence Gibson, though, realizing that Brower had just made a three, so he went right back to him. The old school says go to a guy until he misses. Inbounds, Kasurin on the baseline. Had it stolen away, Miller has it. what we're seeing now for VCU is Harris has been sitting over there for a while and I think that's the effect of the flu bug. He may just not have the strength that he normally has. Uh-huh. On that wild miss, the follow-up is good by Fred Williams. Well, they're going to have to get him and Mills back in the lineup as soon as possible and uh, here they come. We're down to the eight-minute mark. We're bringing in McCoy, Mills, and Harris. Almost sounds like a law firm. They've definitely been uh, laying the law on the basketball court, that's for sure. Gibson pulls up and drops it in. Five points today for Terrence Gibson. Four-point advantage for the Golden Eagles. It's a huge game for VCU, and Ashby comes up with a steal. Lost the ball, but still VCU controls. Kareem Washington, and he walked? No. Foul. Offensive charge. Yeah. After Gibson had already given up the pass, he ran over a, a, a man. Well, you don't see that call too often anymore. When a player is given the ball up and is out away from the basket on the floor and he, he commits a charge, normally the, the official will just let it go as a no call. It, it has really no effect on the outcome of the shot. We'll be back after this message from Schick Tracer. Jim Brinson, and Kyle Macy courtside here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, the campus of Southern Miss. And right now the Golden Eagles have a four-point advantage over the Rams of VCU. You know, you really got to give M.K. Turk a lot of credit the job he's done this year because they've undergone a complete transformation of the ball club. Last year with Clarence Weatherspoon, they always look down low and get the ball in Clarence's hand. This year now they, they're completely different. They're more of a perimeter team. And as you said, they're finally starting to find their role and playing a lot better basketball here the last few weeks. All right, off the inbounds. They better hurry. Trapped in the corner is Haslett. And finally, they get the ball back outside. Not too often you can find a player of the caliber of a Weatherspoon, and you've just got to play with what you're dealt, and that's what Southern Miss is doing this year. Gary Martin controlling on the outside. Running time off the clock. Wisby is posted up. Kasura has it defensively. They're down to three, two. They got to shoot it. They do indeed get it off as the horn sounds, but obviously it did not drop, and VCU will get into front court. And here's Kenny Harris right off the bench and quickly nails the three. Don't let him get started. We saw a few weeks ago in South Florida with nine minutes, hadn't scored, and ended up with 30. It's that time of the game again. He's got 13 in this contest. Remember, fighting the flu bug. Which is why he's been out for such long lapses. The ball is loose, and the Rams come up with a loose ball. Gibson, right to the basket, the finger scoop. Wouldn't go in. Knocked out of bounds, and who will get it? Southern Miss. 
Jones heads, heads up thinking there. The ball was coming out towards him, but he was out of bounds, so he just let it go. If he'd have caught it, it would have been uh, VCU's ball. It's a one-point game. Aslett. Perimeter now drop it down low, kick it back out. They try to free Hassan for the three, around and out, and over the back. And the foul, as Sherrod Mills had positioned himself extremely well, and Lacey came over the top side. That's his second personal. The problem Mills has been having is that he usually blocks out one of the big players for the Golden Eagles, but there's always another one. Usually if he blocks Willsby, it's Lacey, or vice versa. Someone else has got to give him some help there rebounding. It's got to be a concern right now. Difficult shot, he could get the roll to keep it in, but on the tip, Mills got it, dish it down low to Gibson. What great vision. <laughs> Just kind of read the play there. Thought he had a shot when he went up, but two defenders, so he made the adjustment. Seven points, Terrence Gibson. The Rams take the lead for the first time in a long time here in the second half. We've already chronicled how important this game is for VCU and making the big dance in two weeks. The VCU really extending their pressure now for the three-point shot. And Lacey scores it and draws the foul. And that's the problem you get into. If you push your defensive pressure out higher to stop the three, it opens up the middle and allows Lacey that time to get the baseline drive. Lacey just coming across low, two-handed power dribble. Explodes in the basket, Mill said, I didn't get him. <laughs> Mills tagged with a personal foul. John Lacey at the line. Couldn't complete the three-point play. Mills with another rebound. Leading score, leading rebounder for VCU today. Lock down low on the block. Mills got it, lost it out of bounds. Last touch by Park of Southern Miss. Boy, as soon as he catches it, they really collect on him in a hurry. Well, VCU is trying just to set up a triangle on the side with their shooter on the wing, Mills down low, and another shooter out top. But as you said, Southern Miss really collapsing. Gibson was short as McCoy tried to tip it. They called it over the back on McCoy. Well, no, I don't know. He may not have called that on McCoy. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Let's take a look, and you be the judge. It sure didn't look like it the first time. Gibson with the miss. McCoy just down the middle of the lane. Nobody blocked him out. I'm not so sure about that one. He sure was up in the air, though. Yeah, he? he was. That'll send Wisby to the line. Mm, and boy, Wisby, hurts. Yeah, now in double figures with 10 points. Wisby, a 56% free throw shooter. But he looked good on those two. They break the pressure. McCoy in trouble, finally get it back outside to Harris. Kassarin drops it down low. Mills got open, but he missed the shot. Trying the same play as ahead earlier in the half, and it worked. I just didn't finish. Yeah, he may have been looking to see where Wisby was instead of yeah. concentrating on making the basket. Wisby had it rejected by Mills, and then Mills collects it. Those two are really having a battle down low. Kenny Harris had it slapped out of his hands and out of bounds, and they're going to give it back to Southern Miss, saying that Harris last touched the basketball. Harris may be trying to do a little bit too much too early. Still four minutes and ten seconds to go in the game. Plenty of time. Only a three-point advantage for Southern Miss. Whistle away from the ball. To Surrey. And that'll be his fourth personal foul. Just take a look at Cern, just kind of walked him <laughs> right out of the low post. The referee standing right there next to him to make the call. Wisby. Didn't call bank on that free throw. No, he so didn't, yeah. Know. It didn't go. <laughs> it was well. Still a 
a three-point advantage for Southern Miss. Gibson, baseline, tough one-hander, short off the iron. Mills collected it, and it was fouled at the center of the lane. Did they get John Lacey? Nope. Sam Shelton Jones instead. Sharon Mills just being, again, the right place, the right time. Gibson can't get the baseline jumper to go down. And uh, Kazurin knocks it out, but Mills is there. Jones got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Mills at the free throw line, and he has been off the mark ever since about the first two that he fired. Ever since we said he's a 73% free throw shooter, yeah, he's been right. struggling. And that one finally dropped in. Breaking the action, we have 3.46 to go, and we have a dandy coming down to the final minutes of this game. Don't go away, we'll be right back. It's offensive, 18 of them, but to the disadvantage of those 18 turnovers, so you kind of just, it's really a wash. You give the points back. Uh, on the other end, VCU, 10 offensive and nine turnovers. And that's today's Schick Game Tracer. Three-point shooting in this half. VCU is three of eight for 38%. Southern Miss one of seven for 14%. Well, they've really uh, concentrated more on going inside to Wisby and have not taken as many three-point shots. And of course, VCU pressuring the ball and the foul on Gibson. We have a two-point game with 3.38 to go. Those free throws just become bigger and bigger the closer you get to the end of the game. They don't remember the ones you miss early in the game, but they sure do the ones in the last three or four minutes of a game. Sam Shelton Jones, an 83% free throw shooter, and that one went in and out. I have to think MK Turk probably felt pretty good when uh, he saw Jones going to the line, and it did not pay dividends. Mills, Kenny Harris spots up for the three ball and nailed it. Kentucky offense is Sonny Smith, I think, is stolen from the Wildcats when he was his coach at Auburn. It's a high post split. Got Harris open for the three. Jones fires way off the mark into the hands of Gibson. And VCU will settle it. We've chronicled early about how important this game is for the Rams and their quest for an NCAA tournament spot. Mills off balance that time. He couldn't get it to drop. Haslett got away with the foul that time. That's why Sonny Smith's upset as Mills uh, cut to the basket. He just forearm checked him. No call. Boy, Harris is all over Martin out there high. Finally, they get into the hands of Haslett. We haven't heard much from Bernard Haslett. Lacey lets it go and nails it. <laughs> a huge shot. Lacey coming in off the bench. Not afraid to step up and shoot it. Six points, John Lacey. It's a one point Southern Miss advantage. Harris, Mills way out high. Here's the dangerous skip pass, and it was saved, and we're going to have a foul on Kenny Harris. Well, a dangerous skip pass that time by Mills got VCU into trouble. Yeah, he just got a little bit over anxious, and uh, when he threw it across court, a little too much oomph behind it, and it started to go out of bounds. 2.09 left in this game. And it's a dandy, a one-point affair with Southern Miss out in front of VCU. 60, Southern Miss out in front of Virginia Commonwealth with 2.09 to play. Each possession is just uh, very, very important for both teams. And I think the coaches wanted to take a little time there and, and make sure that their players knew that. So each time they got the ball, they had to really get a good shot. Well, here's what's important when you're going down to the final minutes and seconds of a game, and that is free throw shooting, and neither club has been what you would call classic today. <laughs> and I'm being kind there, obviously. <laughs> no, you'd like to see those percentages a lot higher, I'm sure. Big one right here, nothing but the net. Well, look for Jones probably to make this one too. He missed his first one, and usually if you can get that one out of your system, then you have a, a way to relax, and you've already gotten one attempt under your belt. So this one, I look for to go in. And free thrower pressure in the backcourt get it into the hands of Kenny Harris double team VCU breaks it McCoy has it and Harris will settle in 
inside of two minutes now. It's a three-point advantage. Here's the split off the top. Nothing going this time. Southern missed the uh, switch that time. Talked about the timeout. Didn't get caught up in the picks. Mills with Wisby right in his face. Finds Kasurin. Gibson gives it off. Mills got Wisby to leave. His feet goes up. He couldn't get it to go down, however. And the foul. Well, that's a good hesitation move that Mills uses. That was an excellent pump fake, and Glenn Wisby went about 15 feet up in the air. Here you see Gibson driving hard and dropping it back. There's the pump fake as Wisby goes by. But this is where Sharon Mills has struggled today at the free throw line. And that one was down. 25 points now, Sharon Mills. Again, it's a one-point affair. And the Rams, pressure in the backcourt. Two-on-one opportunity. Jones got it to go, and the foul. It looked to me like Sharon may have got a little bit confused. He wasn't sure if he wanted to go for the block or try to take the charge. And because of that indecision, he was a little bit late getting over to take the charge. Jones just going off the right foot. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> well, he certainly challenged the big guy. And the three-point play is completed, and now it's 66-62, down to a minute 25. Pressure in the backcourt. And Harris, in trouble, had to call time. Well, the VCU players uh, went off to the left, Harris. And they've got to come back to the ball. 124 to go in this game. The Rams in desperate need of a victory to hope to get into the big dance in two weeks. Welcome back, everybody. You see the time left in this game, and it's a four-point advantage for Southern Miss. We've talked about the big guys stepping up their play, meaning Sharon Mills and Glenn Wisby. Mills now with 26 points. He also has nine rebounds. Wisby in double figures scoring and also in rebounds. He has 10. Pressure in the backcourt. McCoy in trouble. Finally gets it over to Harris. They break it with a pass ahead to Kasuri. Trailing by four. Sonny Smith called a set play at the timeout or McCoy would have taken that three-pointer. Well, you know Mills isn't going to shoot it from out there. Here's the three ball. It's off the side of the iron and no good. And Southern Miss has it inside of a minute. Wisby at the other end. Mills is there to challenge it. Wisby shoots. Air ball. Rebound foul. No good by Lacey. Whistle foul. That's been pretty much the story all day for Southern Miss. That's doing an excellent job on the offensive boards. The first shot may not go, but they've really been crashing, and VCU just can't keep them off. They got Tyrone McCoy that time on the reach, and that'll send Lacey to the line. For McCoy, it's his third personal, and Chris Brower will have to check in now. You know what he's in the lineup for. Absolutely. He's there to let it fly. And Lacey will go to the line. It's now a five-point advantage for Southern Miss. And Southern Miss, as Kyle and I indicated, could play the spoiler role. And then the Air Ball Express could play the, uh, the spoiler role at the Metro Conference Tournament as they did last year. They really could. You know, they, they give teams difficult matchups the way they shoot that three-pointer. And if Wisby can continue his outstanding play in the low post, they're going to be tough. Brower from another area code. Is short off the iron. And then quickly the foul. And the fans here giving Southern Miss a standing O. And Glenn Wisby will go to the line. Wisby with 11 points and 10 rebounds. Now 12 points. Wisby on target. 69-62, 39 
seconds and counting in this game. Kassura and lead pass McCoy. He's going to have to let it fly and nails the three. And quickly they call time. It's not over yet. BCU has been known to come back the last few seconds of ball games. 69, 65, don't go away. We still have 31 seconds to play. Five Southern Men leads BCU. And now it's time for the Pizza Hut delivery of the game. Yeah, just a small slice here. Chris Brower comes down, a good pass across to Sharon Mills, a two-handed slam. Tasty, juicy, no matter how big you cut it. And that'll be the Pizza Hut delivery of the game, brought to you by Kyle Macy. <laughs> nice job, my friend. In the meantime, heavy pressure on the ball on the inbounds. They have to foul quickly. Down low is Wisby all alone. And the big Shoots the three, around and out, rebound. Comes down into the hands of the Rams. Back outside, Harris fires again, off the mark. Inside of 10 seconds. And the foul on Mills. You gotta give Southern Miss a lot of credit. They could have put their head down. Game really didn't mean a whole lot to them other than just pride. They continued to work the full 40 minutes. Well, MK Turk, a pretty happy guy. He feels he's going to have momentum going into the tournament. And he hopes to pull off the upset, as he did last year. Bernard Haslett at the line, and that went ribs and pops out. Four-point advantage with eight seconds left. What has happened to free throw shooting this I year? don't know, Kyle, but I'm sure you can make a heck of a lot of cheap change if you came in and worked with some guys. And he missed them both. Here's McCoy. And everybody will back off and let him shoot it off the front of the iron. The rebound follow. Wisby got a piece of it. This one is in the record books as a victory for Southern Miss. Our final score is 71-65. Southern Miss wins over Virginia Commonwealth. We'll be back after this. We're in Hattiesburg, the campus of Southern Miss, as the Golden Eagles get the victory over VCU Rams, 71-65. Kyle Macy now standing by with a happy head coach. Thanks, Jim. I'm standing here with MK Turk. Uh, coach, that's four in a row in the conference. you got to feel good about your ball club getting ready for the Metro. Well, we do. We have a little momentum, Kyle, going into the tournament. Uh, we're playing awfully hard. We, uh, I thought we won the ball game today because we played hard. Uh, we didn't execute real well. VCU's a fine team. They're coming off of a stretch of a lot of wins as well. So uh, we feel good about our team going into the tournament. Hopefully we can make some noise. We're going to try hard. You really can create some matchup problems for opponents the way you shoot the three. And if you can get the inside game of Glenn Wisby going like he did in the second half today, you're going to cause some teams some problems. Well, early we were making the threes, and then they kind of took that away from us, and we were able to go inside a little bit more. So, uh, you know, we didn't shoot the ball real well today, but we got some second shots, and I think we, we picked up some loose balls, and we kind of made up for it. And some of the things, we weren't doing that earlier. We weren't making up for, for poor shooting. And today we did make that up, even though VCU runs a lot of good stuff offensively. They got a lot of good shots. I thought we responded pretty well to the challenge. Another statistic today that you really dominated was in the rebounding, yeah. both offensively and defensively. Oh, we really harped on that. Uh, we, we told our guys for the game that the, that, the, that the boards could very well be the the difference in the game and probably uh, final analysis it was. Now last year in the Metro Conference Tournament you came in and played the role of the spoiler. You knocked off a good South Florida team before being eliminated by Charlotte and that's kind of the role you're going into this year. Well, we'll have to definitely have to be the spoiler, no question about it. Uh, we're 6-6 six and six in the league and I guess we finish uh, probably tied for fourth if everything goes as suspected. And uh, you know, uh, We'll play Charlotte, and uh, they're a fine team. We were able to beat them up there in our last ball game, so we know we can. And uh, we just have to go out and play hard, and hopefully we can. You know, you put three games together in the tournament, and you're in the NCAA. Right. So let's uh, we're going to play hard and see what happens. Well, let's talk a little bit about the Charlotte matchup, kind of down the road as we start next Thursday in Louisville at Freedom Hall. And uh, I know you split uh, the first game here at uh, Hattiesburg. You were ahead big, yeah. but then they made a real big run on you to start the second half of game scene right here on Raycom. Well, that's right. 
right. We didn't play very well in the second half, and they really rose the occasion. And after that game, they got on a roll and really played well. And uh, I think won four or five in a row. So uh, what we're going to have to do is uh, we match up with Charlotte, you know, fairly well. They they primarily play three guards, and and we generally do as well. So we'll match up pretty well. We just going to have we're going to do as well defensively as we did last time we played them. They have great perimeter shooters. Uh, I think Jarvis Lang's an outstanding player, no question about it. Uh, it. It should be a great game, and uh, it'll be a typical Metro Conference tournament battle. And you know, we, we've had some great battles in the league in the tournament, and I'm sure this year will be no different. Let's talk real quick about the excitement of the Metro Conference tournament. How do you get your young players to understand that? Well, uh, you know, they've seen it on TV, and they know what it's all about. And they know when you go to the tournament that everybody's going to try to be on top of their game, uh, having peak performances. And, uh, you know, all of our guys except one have been there before. Sam Jones is fresh, and he hasn't been there. But, but our, you know, we have a, a slew of sophomores and juniors. They've all been there, and they know what it's about. All right, well, good luck, Coach. Let's go back to Jim. All right, Kyle, thank you very much. Just to recap quickly what happened in the game for Southern Miss, Haslett had 17 points, Wisby had 15 and 12 rebounds. For VCU, Sharon Mills had 26 points, 19 rebounds. Kenny Harris still playing with the flu. He finished with 14 points. But the victory going to Southern Miss today over the VCU Rams.